and today I'm taking you to Tohoku region, the most northern part of Japan. Tohoku is very rich in culture and has very beautiful scenery. In this video today, I'm gonna show you lots of interesting places and also delicious food to eat. So, let's go! To visit the northern part of Japan, I bought a 5 days JR Tohoku Rail Pass and it allows me to travel from Tokyo to there using all JR trains. And our first day today is Aomori. Aomori is famous for its Nebuta festival. So once you step out, out of your Shinkansen, you can see the beautiful welcoming decoration. And the second thing is its apple. Yes, apple. You can find definitely anything of apple here. Apple snacks, apple alcohols, apple sweets, and I can go on and on. And it is super, super good. It's super sweet like a honey. And if you're here, also do check out their food court because they also sell the stuff that you cannot find anywhere else. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Snow here is crazy high, like it goes up until my shoulder. So my fellow snow lover friends, you will be fulfilled with the amount of snow that you can find here. It's just so beautiful and eye-pleasing. Now I'm heading towards Jomon Jiukan, a historical site in Aomori. Google Maps told me that it will only take 30 minutes by foot, so I took an initiative and walk. But little did I know that there are there are huge pile of snow everywhere and it's really difficult to walk. From just now I've been looking from left and right and I see no one walking here. And by the way, if you guys are new to snow, I think it's a good idea for you to wear boots or buy the spiky thing for the shoes so that you don't slip. Because I almost fell down like so many times just now. Okay, we have reached our destination and it's time to nom nom! Itadakimasu! This right here is garlic pork sane udon hot pot. Super warm and yummy. This is perfect for the cold weather like right now. It tastes a little bit different than the usual udons, but it's super yummy. And there's always a room for dessert, right? Mmm, this one is yummy too! So I have filled up my stomach and ready to explore this museum. So after one hour walk, I finally reach here but it's just snow. You cannot see anything else, it's just snow. If you're into art, especially its history, I'm sure you'll be familiar with this statue. This comes from the Jomon period, 14,000 till 300 BCE. At that time, Japan was habited by hunter-gatherers and agriculturist population. And this museum is the archaeologic remaining of it. Pretty cool, right? You can see their houses, pottery, remainings from back then. So this is the largest buildings in all of the buildings here and they call it the large pit buildings. It served as a gathering place for the people back then to use. Surprisingly, it was really warm and cozy inside. It doesn't look that warm but when you were inside there, you can feel the warmness. Our second day today is visiting Hachinohe. Hachinohe is also actually a part of Aomori but it is on its coastline. So if you're there, you can check out the beautiful beaches and also shrines. Now I'm at Sunny Station and now I'm going to the shrine which is located on the coastline of Japan. So let's go and check it out. In Japanese language, Same means shark or jaws so i think that is why there is this 
jaw figurine right in front of the station. Anyways, just a quick update. I changed to a boot I bought yesterday. Yeah, I think my recommendation if you want to go to Tohoku area, especially during winter time, you should use boots. Oh my gosh, you already can start seeing the shrine over there looking so pretty. And by the way, there are lots of seagulls here. Like they keep on making the ka ka noises. Come on. So I have reached the shrine and it is located near the beach. It is one of the most beautiful shrine that I have ever visited. It's so beautiful here. This beautiful seaside temple is called Kabushima Shrine. And this shrine is popular amongst fishermen and town people. As the word kabu can mean both turnip and stock in Japanese language. When people are wishing for their business good luck and also fishing good luck, they usually come here and pray here. Interesting fact. This shrine was completely destroyed by fire on November 2015 but has been rebuilt and officially reopened. Now you can come visit and enjoy the beauty of the temple. So beautiful! One thing that I really like about traveling to destinations like this is that you can find lots of hidden gems. Oh my gosh, I think this is chestnut. Wait. Ooh, oh, it's so prickly. So after the long walk from the shrine just now, we have reached into the Itoshimari rock over here. It is just so beautiful along the coastline. You can see the beach and you can enjoy the nature. And behind there is a lighthouse, but sadly it's not in operation today. already night time that means it's time to eat at a yatai in hachinohe there is this place called yatai mura so yatai in japanese means tall and mura means village so it is a village that has lots and lots of small stores in it so let's go and check it out stores here are similar to the ones that is called izakaya or like drinking and eating place restaurant in Japan so this place opens at 4 p.m. till the morning 5 o'clock in the morning so yeah people usually spend time here drinking and hanging out with friends there are so many stores here you can choose this one over here sells yakitori this one sells ramen yeah, you can just choose whichever you want. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video up until the end. And I'll see you guys in Tohoku Vlog Part 2. Bye!